Okay, so, uh, Madam Newton wanted me to fix up Nuclear Man, or mainly just, uh, speed up this one super so people can actually get hit by it. However, I saw some other problems in there, so I did a little bit more tinkering than just that. So, uh, this is gonna be a very rare character surgery. Uh, I'm not a character coder. It's quite possible I screwed something up. I just, going on what I remember from years ago, working on Gombi when I barely knew it in code. Okay, yeah, let's get to what I did. Okay, so first off, the main thing he wanted me to fix, there's now pause time before it, and there's a much smaller window for them to block that super. If they're in the middle of an attack, they're probably going to get hit by it, even if they're on the other side of the screen. Yeah, so, uh, there's that. Now, Nuclear Man is actually kind of, like, broken. There's, like, a, a bunch of moves he had that basically are pretty OP. Like, uh, he had this laser move here. And the way it was coded before, you could basically, if you got the timing just right, you could infinite off of it. Yeah, you could just, like, drag that combo up hit. So, uh, now, when, like, as it ends, there's more, like, time to, uh... He's got more, like, lag time getting out of it. So now you have more time to, like, come after him after you get hit or block. And that goes for the stronger version, too. There's more time to come after him or get up. Did it to that version. And for the fireballs, they were, like, super fast. Slowed them down. Same idea. He has more lag time of coming off of it, so you don't just get pinned by fireball spam and just die. It's no fun to fight against if she just gets spammed to death. So yeah. And the more he does, the more his lag time is. So like, his lag coming off a single fireball isn't as bad as his lag coming off two. And it's even worse for him when he's coming off three. So, before he like shot the three fireballs so fast that like, there was basically no reason to use like fireballs one and two. You could just spam the free spam fireball like crazy. <laughs> like, there was no downside. There's gotta be a downside for, like, whipping your moves or doing something really extravagant. Now, there are some things I uh, changed besides nerfing them. For one thing, I sped up his quick punches by a couple frames, because his quick punch was actually kinda slow. And I sped up his quick quick too. Sped up his crouch punch. Sped up like his crouch kick, at least I think I did. Um, uh, his uh, heavy kick now knocks them back quite a bit because it like seemed kind of weird that he's like super kicking them and they weren't really moving much. So yeah, now that does that. And um, so he has these moves where like um, he does this like so he like throws this rock. However, you have all the time in the world to see this coming. So, risk versus reward kind of thing. I, like, doubled the damage of it. So, like, if you actually nail the hit of it, you're gonna get more of a reward than doing, like, a regular fireball. And, like, every one of these moves that are, like, uh, the variation of the rock, like, had, like, basically no chip damage. They now have, like, a... It's kind of hard to do two controllers at once, but, uh... So, yeah, it does more chip damage now. And, uh... The next one up in this series of special moves is the car! And I significantly, like, doubled the damage again and increased the chip damage. Since you have all the time in the world to see this freaking car coming. So, like, if you actually succeed on a hit of it, it hurts quite a bit. I also added knockdown to it because it kind of seems silly for the car not to be knocking him down when he didn't slam with a huge ass car. Now I actually lowered the damage of this right here where he goes up and comes down, but I increased the size of the collision box because like he has this big, you know, spherical box that's or explosion, but it wasn't actually hitting that far. Yeah, like, look at the range on it now. So, like, it doesn't hurt as much, but you gotta watch out for that range. Damn, that's like almost the entire screen if you actually get hit by it. 
Uh, so I think those are all the changes I did. I couldn't, or like, I, um, there's this, like, uh, version of the fireball he does here when he's up in the air, and it's still going pretty fast, but, um, once again, I'm not a character coder. They're, like, when I tried to mess with it, it was, like, shooting straight down when I was trying to slow it down, and, like, there's probably a way to get the best of both worlds, but I, I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, another weird thing is, um, okay, so, like, he has this heavy version of this. For some reason, this, like, sometimes just whiffs, even though the, like, the, the, like, graphic is right on the character. Like, I don't understand why it's whiffing sometimes, so, um, there's that. I think, like, that one whiffs sometimes, too, and I just, like, I looked in there, but I didn't see what was causing it. Um, I also saw a weird error that I don't know if I made, that, like, um, you know how, like, a, a character is attacking, and then if you hold back close enough, they, like, block, and they get, like, frozen in place instead of actually walking backwards? At one point while I was playing the character, like, Kung Fu Man was just, like, acting like just this guy moving forward was, like, an attack. And I don't know what was causing that, but we obviously don't want that, but I don't know what was causing it, and it's not happening now, thankfully, but could happen. Don't know why it's happening. Um, I hope this is what you wanted and more, um, Meta Mutant. I hope you don't mind that I low-key nerfed him. I'd rather have a balanced character than a broken character, but, um, uh, that's all. Enjoy.